everyone, my name is Carmen from Simply Couture Designs. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create cute digital stickers with white borders like this in Canva. Let's dive right in. All right, let's first get started with a new design. So you go to Canva and go to um, the home and go click on create a new design on this button. And here you will want to choose a digital stickers uh, regular paper size. So I would say US letter size. So I'm going to type in letter and we'll select US letter document. And here I have a US letter document. And the first thing I want to do to create sticker is to add in some graphics. You can get graphics from uh, some common marketplace such as Creative Fiber creative markets and so forth and or you can create stickers using the elements in Canva. So before I get into the elements, let me show you how to create stickers with white border within Canva using existing clip art. So I have some existing clip art um, in my upload folder. And for example, I have some really cute clip arts like, uh, you know, all these uh, cute girls that I see in here. I also have some really cute animals uh, like this dolphin in here and this little turtle and then another dolphin. Let me also pick this dinosaur. I'm going to make them kind of scatter around on this uh, document right here. And the next thing I want to do is to change the background color of this document so we can actually see the white border that I'm going to create. So I click on the background of this design. And then on the upper left hand side, there's this background color, I click on it. And I'm going to select a background color like a pink color just to show you the white border I'm going to create. So in Canva, create a white border on an image like this. This is uh, actually an image. This is not the element. This is an image. It's very simple. You just go ahead and click on add the image on the top. And you want to scroll down and go to glow. Click on glow. You see this image has a glow around the border. But I like this to be not like this glow, but actually a solid line white border. To do that, I just need to click on this C control overlay. So click on it. And from here, I want to change the burr to zero. As you can see, when you move all the way, it's going to get it more blurry, but I want it to be solid. So I go all the way to the left. So you see like a black line right here. And there's some transparency also setting by default to be 50. And I want no transparency. So I want to uh, move the slide all the way to the right, 100%. And then the size basically is how wide you want the border to be. I'm going to turn it up a little bit more like so. And finally, to change the color to white. And now you see a white border around this little dolphin. So I'm going to repeat the same technique and change the image of every other uh, image on this design at the glow and change the setting of the glow transparency 100%, blur to be 0% and size is up to your liking and then change the color to white. And I've got another white border here. I'm going to repeat the same thing and change the other images on this page. So change the transparency to zero and blur to transparency to 100%, blur to zero and the size to your liking and change the color to white. It can be white, it can be any color if uh, that you like. So it doesn't matter for the sticker border, but I would like to have uh, a border. And then for this dragon, I'm going to do the same thing, or dinosaur, I'm going to do the same thing, 
add the image, change glow, transparency to be 100% um, and blur to be 0% and size, just slice it up a little and change this color to white. And then lastly, I have this image. Going to click on add the image, glow, change the settings, transparency 100%, blur to be 0%, and size to be to your liking, and then change the color to be white. I can make it slightly wider and to connect the little Dove and Unicorn with this uh, well. And there you go. We have some digital stickers with white border ready to go to print or to save them as transparent PNG file so we can um, use them in digital planner or for other purposes. So to save them as a sticker sheet, what you can do is to just save this whole page as a um, PNG file or PDF file. To save this page, you basically go up to share and then under download, you select PNG on top and then you just select this page, which is page one to download this, this just this first page. And then it's going to download to your computer. And I've just opened this up, the sticker sheet on this is Affinity Photo and I have it now in a very nice pink background paper. The second way that you can download is to download the page as transparent background PNG file. The reason I want to download in transpar transparent background PNG is so that I can use cutting machines such as Quicket to cut those stickers. And let me show you how to download the page as transparent background PNG. You follow the same steps. You go up to share and under download, here you see there's a checkbox for a transparent background. Notice this is a pay feature. You will require Canva Pro account to use it. And I'm going to add a link down below the video with a 45 days free trial of the uh, Canva Pro account. So I'm, what you want to do is click on this checkbox and then you select the first page and check all the other pages and select first page, click on done and download. And once it's downloaded to your computer, and you can open it in any uh, software, and I'm opened it in uh, Affinity Photo. Then you will see here that there's, if you scroll, if it's kind of uh, zoom in, you will see the white border here, and then transparent background at the back. And and now you have a transparent background sticker sheet. All right, the next step I want to do is, let's say I have a transparent background page, I have a regular background page, I want the individual stickers on its own. To save the individual stickers individually on their own, what I'm going to do is to actually copy them onto individual page like this. So once I've copied them like this, then I can go ahead and repeat the same steps share, download, and then from here, I uncheck all the pages and I'm going to just select individual sticker pages. And I want to check on also the transparent background. This way is going to, Canva is going to download all those three pages as transparent background individual sticker files. So let me click on done and click download. And here is how it's going to look the two sticker pages, and then a zip file which contains individual digital stickers. So I'm going to just extract all those files into a folder. Then you can see they are now have individual stickers for each, uh, for each character. There you go. This is how you can create digital sticker inside Canva. I hope you like this tutorial and you enjoy and have learned something from it. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please click the button below to subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. I'll see you then. Thank you.